Hello, I'm Leroy Crest, and this is a review of the Waymix uh, MX80 mixer. And I'm recording the first part of this with the, a USB flash drive uh, so we can see what the music is like. I'm going to press it. This is something that I did back in the 1986. Been a while ago. Now the rest of the video I'm going to record with just the uh, with an S recording to an SD card. When you insert an SD card like this, you have to make sure that the brass contacts are facing you when you insert it into the mixer. Now, after you inserted your SD card into the mixer, you have to set it up to record. So the first thing you do is you press the right button under the uh, thing that says uh, USB. And then you set it to the center one that says record. And then you press play. Now the machine is recording. And I'm going to disconnect now my amplifier, which is probably giving some feedback here. Okay, I am recording this directly to the SD card right now. And I let me go over here and check. And the SD card is uh, recording. And when you set it to record, it first is on pause. To record to the SD card to a new file, you have to press the left button, which is the play button and the pause button. And I'm recording this right now with my uh, toner microphone and uh, I got my headset on that I'm listening to this so uh, and this thing also has phantom 48 plus 48 volt phantom power which my microphone requires and when you insert an SD chip, you have to make sure that the brass contacts are facing you. It's easy to figure out on how to insert a, a USB flash drive into the thing. I connected, I originally connected this thing to my stereo amplifier with the uh, main outs and uh, going to the audio visual and uh, and that worked very well. And now I'm this for this video I'm going to record I'm going to use specifically for for now on just the uh, recording through the video to the SD card and not the camera uh, mic. Now the first thing is you have to you need to set this thing up a little bit and uh, like for your mic 
you connect your uh, mic to uh, your mic line one, and you set the 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 fader on U, and then you adjust the gain of the microphone that would uh, automatically. Uh, Un until your your volume is correct according to the view meters. Now these aren't like the view meters that we had back in the 60s when they were uh, actually uh, a meter. <laughs> you know, you have to realize I'm a little bit older than that. But... Uh, this is, and you can play with uh, some things, like you can play and you can increase the bass on this thing so that your bass goes up and up and up, and you can play with your knobs and stuff like this, and you can play with the uh, pan that you send your output to the left, or you send the output to the right. Anyway, and or you keep it centered, which is the uh, where it should be if you're recording just like a mono track. And you set the USB to you and the main outs to you. And when you, you adjust the gain input level on each input device separately so that you know where each thing is and where you want it to be. I have not played with the DSP uh, Pro Audio stuff. Uh, I'll do that later sometime, maybe, if I'm interested. But as far as I'm concerned, I think this is a fairly good uh, mixer. I spent on Amazon $139 plus sales tax for the thing. And it connects well to my uh, stereo system. And uh, if I had a, uh, a, a cassette tape drive or tape deck, I could record to the tape deck. But... I really want to record to the digital SD chips because tape decks, they die, and uh, the digital uh, signals are sort of permanent, basically. They're much better than the, uh, than the old tapes and stuff like that and uh, stuff, and... Tapes wear out. Cassette tapes. How many people remember the, uh, and still have some old VCR tapes that don't work anymore? And because you didn't uh, record them to a, uh, to a DVD or something like that, they're useless. A lot of people have lost their uh, cassette, their uh, VCR tapes because they didn't digitize them. Anyway, this is a, a good way to help you digitize your audio. And I have a uh, TIAC uh, uh, VCR uh player that uh, has that you can convert convert your uh, your old VCR tapes to uh, DVDs and that has worked very well for me especially for the old old tapes that we had lying around for years and years anyway I'm very happy with this machine. Uh, when you first turn the machine on, 
you have to you should have your SD card or your flash drive already inserted in the machine. Uh, you want the machine off when you extract an SD card or flash drive. Or else you'll have to, because otherwise you might lose data. Now the the flash drive and the SD card need to be formatted with a VFAT partition. Which most uh, flash drives already come pre-formatted as a VFAT partition. Uh, some of the larger, uh, newer ones come formatted with an NTFS or XFAT uh, partition. And anyway, this machine works with VFAT partitions. So you might have to play with your computer and uh, reconfigure your flash drive. Anyway, I'm an old Linux user. I've been playing with Linux since 1994. So I'm used to file systems and stuff like this and formatting and uh, drives and stuff like that. <clears throat> anyway, I am very pleased with this mixer. It's not very hard to figure out, but the manual is what I would consider atrocious. You have to, a lot of stuff you have to figure out for yourself. Otherwise, I hope everybody has a good day and take care. Bye-bye.